Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where I want to draw an hourglass with you. And what you do first is you take a horizon line and two disappearing points at the far ends of the left and the right. And what you want to do then first is decide uh, where to put your hourglass and the height. I'm choosing for a height of 14 centimeters and I will place the uh, line about at five and a half centimeters on that horizon so not in exactly the center and what you can do then is connect those lines to the two disappearing points on the left and on the right because what we want to create is a cube and within that cube we are going to create the hourglass so that's your first step and then you put in two other lines to decide about um, how big your cube is going to be <clears throat> and I'm simply eyeballing this and then I can connect those lines also to the left and the right disappearing points and in that way creating an actual cube which is in perspective uh, totally correct you can see now the two cross lines. All I need to do now is connect the two cross lines and then you have your glass cube if you want. You can see right through it, but this is my design for my hourglass. You can see it's 14 centimeters high. I also need to know where the middle is of that cube. That is exactly at seven centimeters. You can see it here. And, and that way I'm creating a third um, space if you want uh, so you have the top space the bottom space and this is my middle space and I need that to decide where the center is of the little opening of our hourglass you can see it right here now this is my center so that's very important because from that center down I can draw in uh, the, the spheres of the hourglass. Nicely rounded spheres and of course it's always a little bit difficult to make the sides to be perfectly equal with each other. Just try to uh, mirror them as good as possible and then we also have to draw uh, the top sphere of course because we have to put the sand in somewhere so well I'm simply I cannot use a ruler anymore of course so I'm simply drawing this by freehand trying to make them as, as even as possible and uh, then you have your two, your two uh, glass spheres you see them here now and I'm trying to think as uh, 3D as possible. But this is in a perfect uh, perspective. Uh, now I have to create the two uh, wooden planks. I'm going to draw it a little bit uh, bigger than the first helper lines. So I simply uh, draw in lines that go parallel to the first little helper lines. And in that way I'm creating um, a bigger space for the hourglass to sit on and this is the thickness of the little plank on the bottom and the little plank on top so that's how I do that and what I also want to uh, immediately draw in is the thickness of the glass glass always has uh, some kind of a thickness and uh, well, this helps to uh, create a more uh, realistic effect so do not only draw just one line for the glass always draw two lines and the sand that is within that hourglass sits within the the inner line of that glass 
then this is the little uh, stream of sand that is going down and then uh, this is the sand that has landed in the lower uh, area and of course you cannot look through the sand you can look through the glass but not through the sand so that is where the little helper lines are erased away and then I can design the pillars and you can uh, well design any pillar you want and on my patreon page you can see me the, uh, draw this hourglass in real time so if you want to join me there you are very very welcome indeed now this is the pillar on the back and you can partly see through the glass but of course not through the sand so you can see that fourth pillar and now that I have that hourglass standing there I can start to put in some shadows so I decided to put the light source uh, on the right top so the shadow will fall behind the hourglass this also helps me to create a more feel of 3d and um, I'm simply using that uh, charcoal pencil it's a Wolf's Carbon 6B very nice it's a compressed charcoal and you can put in a lot of contrast there with those pencils and um, well because this is a um, imaginary drawing I'm just drawing by fantasy um, it's very hard sometimes to um, figure out how the shadows will exactly go so I simply uh, put in the shadows by feel so I keep track of the fact that the light source or the Sun is coming from the right top and in this way this is creating the shadows and of course the top uh, shell or, or a little plank on top of the hourglass catches a lot of shadow so I can really put in a lot of charcoal there and I've decided to place the shadow a little bit more to the left here so I'm simply uh, well figuring it out as I am drawing and it's also nice to put in a little bit of ornament detail of course uh, on the little pillars or holders of that hourglass and um, erasing out the parts where you cannot look through the objects and because we are dealing with glass partially you can look through the glass of course but you cannot look through the pillars and um, well this is an amazing way of drawing and it's kind of like uh, you're drawing like a designer or something so let's take a look at the complete picture um, what also uh, is very nice to do if you want to draw a little bit more surrealistic if you want you can uh, make use of the horizon line and then you can create uh, maybe some kind of uh, sky or something with uh, some dramatic well maybe there's a, a tornado in the back or uh, some other kind of bad weather that is uh, slowly disappearing while the Sun is peeping out or something but once you start uh, to create a little bit of clouds and uh, making use of that horizon line you create an even more uh, feel of depth and of course 3d effects so well it's just simple uh, newsprint paper that I'm drawing on it's very thin it's very uh, cheap also but it is ideal for uh, creating and starting to develop an idea of what I want to draw before I pull out my expensive paper 
Then I take a, uh, a dry and a clean brush and I simply start to rub in all the pigments of the charcoal into the newsprint paper. And this is a very nice effect if you want to start to draw in the light. So I'm using my Koinor Hardmouth um, pencil eraser. And I use that pencil eraser not as a correcting device, but actually as a drawing device. Because now I can start to draw in the light that is in my uh, drawing. And of course the light is coming from the right top. And I can also use it to draw in uh, the glass effect which is uh, awesome of course this is looking amazing and it works it works instantly to create that feel of 3d and create the glass so this is the front of the plank that uh, picks up a lot of light and you can also use of course the kneaded eraser to create the clouds in the back uh, so also a kneaded eraser is a very nice to draw with it's an amazing effect so well um, this is the design and I think it uh, will be continued of course maybe on the console gray or something it's amazing anyway and I really really wanted to share this with you so that's the result um, it's a little bit surrealistic I love it hope you love it too if you do please give this video a big thumbs up maybe I will see you on my patreon page and of course I will see you in my next tutorial